Hi guys, welcome back to my Arsenal YouTube channel. Uh, very, 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 very disappointing game yesterday. Really, 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 what a downer. I mean, a really dull, insipid, lifeless performance from Arsenal. Um, for all Arsenal fans, I'm sure, greatly disappointed with yesterday's game. We dropped another two points to Crystal Palace at home in the Premier League we went on a very good run we won three in a row in the league that got us back on track Palace in my opinion are a dangerous side but they were there for the taking and we just threw the game away really to be honest a point is not good enough and I would rather lose than gain a point at least to have tried and win the game um, at half time I was not too concerned I expected Arteta to change things up a bit and to throw everything at Palace in the second half, which is what I would have done if I was coach. Um, yeah, that's the way I see things. I've been around a while, I've seen a lot of Arsenal games, I've been supporting the team for almost 25 years. So, for me that was one of the worst performances I can remember in recent times. Absolutely shocking. I'm going to get into that later anyway, I'm just going to hit you with a couple of statistics from the game. Let you think about it for a while. Um, stats in attack. Of course the game ended nil-nil. We had 11 shots, Palace had 12. We had 4 on target, they had 2. 2 of the shots were blocked. 6 from outside the box, 5 from inside the box. Our shot accuracy, 44.4%. Pretty poor to be honest. Palace had 25% accuracy, but in fairness, there was one or two of their chances, like they hit the bar. I mean, they came very close, and um, we showed nothing at all in the way of attack. I mean, really, really bad. Really bad. Um, general play, possession, with 67%. Palace had the 33. I mean, when you consider the amount of chances we created to them, and we doubled the possession. And the amount of shots on target, that speaks for itself. Um, Jules won, 52%. Aerial Jules won, we won 55%. We made 10 interceptions. Notice they made 17. I think when you intercept the ball and you catch the team on a break, it's a big thing. You score a lot of goals that way. They had almost double the intercep interceptions we had. So, you know, a lot of goals are scored that way. You intercept it quick, you're trying to play the ball out, hit them fast on a break when they're caught up field. Not enough flares back, open them up. We didn't do that. They did that much better than us. Twice as good as us. Um, they were much better. Uh, the lineups. Arsenal started with Leno in goal. The back four. David Luiz, Rob Holding, Ashley Maitland-Niles and Hector Bellerin. That was our defence. Um, the middle, in the midfield, we had Aubameyang on the wing. We had Ceballos, we had Bukayo Sacco, and we had Smith Rowe. Um, we had Granit Xhaka, and we had Lacazette. Of course, Xhaka was in the midfield, Rowe was more in an advanced position. It's like a, a five man midfield with Lacazette up front. Um, Aubameyang, like I said, was pulling out on the wing. Um, substitutes Enketia, Nicolas Pepe, and Party. Um, the game itself. I mean, where do I start, really? Uh, my opinion of it, it was a very, very bad game of football. A really dull game. Before the game, I said, if you watched any of my videos, there was absolutely no excuse for the team winning this game. And that's not me just dreaming. I'm not expecting too much, no Arsenal fan is. Palace are a team that can be dangerous, but they're, a team, they're, they're not Liverpool. No disrespect to Palace, but they're not Man United, they're not Man City. They don't have world-class players all over the field like those three teams. This was a game we could have easily won. We're the home side, we're coming off a four-match winning streak. I mean, the team should have been confident, the team should have been alive. Ra rampaging forward, attacking them on the wings, attacking them from the back. Everybody should have been playing with confidence. Of course, maybe a factor that influenced the game was the fact that Tierney had a muscle strain and did not start. He has been banging the form for us recently and he's a real handful in defense and attack. 
that was a real, real negative thing for Arsenal that this man did not start the game. Ugh, where do we go from here? I mean, the performance itself, like I said, was very, very bad. Nil-nil, it's worth noting to us. It would have been better to have lost and at least to have taken a few chances in the second half, which, which was what I thought Arteta was going to do. I was calm at halftime. It was nil-nil. We were in the game. And Palace, we were we were kind of containing their dangerous players. Zaha, um, Eike, we were containing these guys. Benteke had a couple of chances. But we had them a little bit under the cosh. It wasn't panic stations. They had a few chances, we had a few chances. They had the better of the first half, but we were in the game. Second half, we normally get stronger. Last 15 minutes, we should have absolutely thrown everything at them. I mean, take chances at the back. Three-man defense. Push one more into the attack. Open it up. I mean, this was very important to win this game. We needed to win this game. And the way the team and the way Arteta just insipidly went around things. Predictable attacks. They were so predictable. It was easy for Palace to take us apart. I mean, the attacks were so predictable. Tierney wasn't involved. We really lacked a guy, like cutting edge on his side. Saka did his best. Maybe a little bit of an experience showed, but I'm not going to criticize him. He's 19, and he's been the player that has stood out in the last couple of games. He's been the one that has got us the points. Not our big forwards that are taking in three or four million a year. It's been him. The younger players that have done things for us. Smith Rowe, Martinelli, Saka, not Lacazette, not Aubameyang. They were awful yesterday. Those two guys, hang your head in shame. They were brutal. I mean, they didn't even have a chance. Oh, it was just, I mean, when you think that Bellerin had our best chance, he's not exactly a goal scorer, and that was well wide. I mean, it wasn't even a threat, really. Palace, much more dangerous, much more versatile, much more imaginative when they got in the attack. They know how to put a ball into the box. They laid it up there for Ben Teke. They had pace, they had guile, they had aggression, they had everything going forward. We looked dull and predictable. And to be honest, there can be no excuse. Arteta knew going into the game, what to expect. I mean, he knew before the game, the players they were going to play and what they were going to do. I mean, it's predictable. They have fast players. They have some big guys in the team, extremely skillful, real goal scorers. I mean, you've got to do something to counteract that. You have to set up your tactics correctly. Regarding the loss of Tierney, inconsequential. That does not matter. The team was set up wrong. It was like top heavy in midfield. The attack were isolated. The defense, they had their hands full. Palace's attack is dangerous, it's quick. But definitely the midfield and the attack. I mean, when Shaka was named in the starting lineup, I knew it was gonna be a bad evening. I'm not a fan of his. He's way too slow against teams like that. Can't do the business for us. I would have played anyone in there but him. Anyone. A youth team player, whatever. Man, when he, I just knew, I just knew we weren't going to do it against him when I saw him in the lineup. And there you go, nil nil, lacking ideas, no ideas going forward, no way to break them down. At least trying to get the ball away to Saka, he had his hands full. They've got a couple of pacey defenders there at Palace, they're aggressive. It was hard for him to get into it. Like I said, I'm not going to criticize him, he's been our best player. For me, player of the season, he got player of the month for December. But the older players, the experienced heads, if it wasn't for Leno, it could have been much worse. I mean, he kept us in it. He made a couple of good saves. He was brave. You know what I mean? But the more experienced guys, I mean, what is going on with Aubameyang? What is going on with Lacazette? And Arteta, to let that happen in the second half, he should have changed it completely. 15 minutes gone in the second half, you still have half an hour. Change things up. And we should have been in good form coming into this game. Full of confidence. We won four in a row. The performance was absolutely what goes on before the game. What kind of team talk? I mean, what were guys thinking when they were going out there? We're playing Palace. We're not playing Barcelona in respect to them. We're not playing Real Madrid. This game was there for the taking. We could have won this game. I mean, for me, I don't know. They got to look at themselves. Newcastle game is coming up fast. Newcastle are better than Palace, in my opinion. They gave us a really hard game in the FA Cup. We won it, but it was close. It was very tight. 
that game's around the corner. You're telling me we're going to beat them? We're not going to beat them. Not with that performance. They all need to look at themselves. Complete change of tactics. The team. Please God let Tierney be back. That's all I can say. Because if he's not back and they do the same performance, we will lose that game. No doubt about it. 100%. Hopeless, hopeless, hopeless performance. I'm not going to say any more about it. I look for a big improvement in the next match. But I was really fearful yesterday before the game. Even before I knew the starting lineup, even before I knew what was going on, I said to myself, this is a hard game and I don't know which way it's going to go. And that's the way it turned out. The performance was just lifeless. I mean, I think we beat West Brom, was it 4-0? They're the bottom club in the league. I said we shouldn't get carried away with things. They're heading for relegation. They're in last place in the league. And people thought it was the best thing in the world when we beat them 4-0. I said we shouldn't get carried away with it. They're in relegation zone. They're in last place in the division. I think maybe they've won one game all season. And people thought we were great after that. Yeah, grand, we beat them. But my God, I mean, they're not that good. We should have been more careful coming up to the game. Tactics, everything should have been right. Aggression, hit them on the break fast. The second half, we should have absolutely just overran them. Take chances. If we lose, we lose. But playing it out for a nil-nil draw, hanging on for a point at home when we need three points. I mean, these were the things that Arsenal became famous for. Fighting spirit, guile, heart. Bravery, courage, none of that was on display. I mean, there was nothing going on. It's not all about ability. It's not all about how good you are as a player. Ah, I'm not gonna say any more about it. I'm just gonna finish the video. I really hope you enjoyed watching it. Sorry if it was a bit of a negative one, but I tell it like it is. That's all there is about it. Awful performance, shocking stuff, brutal. One of the worst I've ever seen. Hopefully things will pick up for the Newcastle game. I just honestly can't see where the goals are going to come from because the team is struggling all over the place. Artella needs to get a grip of things now. He needs to put it together. Watch the video of the game, lads. It was awful. Watch how you play it and do the opposite. Everything you did in that game, do the opposite. Shocking stuff. Um, hopefully we can do something against Newcastle. I'm not a negative guy, I'm not a pessimist, I'm an optimist, but my god, that performance, some people gotta wake up in there. Some of the players, they gotta wake up and look at themselves. Granite Chaka, the forwards, all over the place. The only guy that did himself a favour was Leno. Respect to Saka, he's a young guy, there's some young players out there, but... Maitland Niles, shocking, brutal performance. The promise were on his side of the pitch. It broke down on his side so many times. I mean, what was going on out there? And he's a player I like and he's done well for us, but that was not his best game by a long shot. He's got to look at himself. The coach, at the end of the day, makes the decisions. Players play, managers manage, and that's all it was about it. They have to step it up now. We need to win against Newcastle. Pressure's on, but they put themselves in that position. These guys are pros, let's not forget that. They're professionals. They can do better than that. We have the players. We could have won that game yesterday. No excuses. Liverpool would have won that. United would have won that. Leicester would have won that. We need to win that. Awful. I just hope they pick it up for the next game. I'm gonna, no, I am gonna, before I rant off again about it, I'm gonna just finish the video there. I really, really hope you enjoy watching my video. Please like and subscribe as always. Thank you for everybody that has subscribed from in me recently and subscribed to my channel. I really, really appreciate it. Thank you very, very much for all your views, your comments. Um, just want to give a couple of shout outs. Arsenal Ross, check out his channel. A very, very good channel. Um, I like the way he does the channel. I like his input. I like his expertise. I like the way he does his, the way he makes the different points. You should check that channel out, Arsenal Ross. Another one, all things Arsenal. You should check that out. And a very, very good Arsenal channel. And another one, Gooner Gossip TV. You should also check that one out. Just three tips for you. Arsenal fans, get on it, check it out. Three very good channels in my opinion. Thank you very much for all your support recently. Take it easy. Try not to be too down about the result. Hopefully we win the next one. Um, yeah, I'll talk to you soon.
Come on, you runners.